Hollywood comes to Columbus. The red carpet was laid out for the dozens of young movie stars in the Columbus Municipal School District last month. We told you how students were creating an animated film. Today, the Wonder Grove Wizard of Oz it premiered. Our Quentin Smith speaks with the young stars. He joins us live in the studio with more on opening night. Yes, yeah, Scott, I'll tell you, these kiddos are made for the big screen. Wonder Media partnered with the school district to create Story Maker, which is a state-of-the-art animation program. And based off of the laughs and smiles during the movie, you can tell everyone was pleased with the way everything turned out tonight. It was a media frenzy for these talented movie stars. Oh, we're having a lot of fun. We're, we're just talking around, messing around. We're just playing and having fun. I'm, I'm having a good time getting to see other people that help ACL in this, in the movie that we made. See, there's a big buzz surrounding these students because this is the day their movie hits the big screen. Students in the Columbus Municipal School District created their own version of the Wizard of Oz. It's called the Wonder Grove Wizard of Oz. Everyone loaded up in the limo and made their way to the theater for the big debut. And as you can imagine, it was a packed crowd. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. I'm Dorothy, and I'm doing quite well. How do you do? The kiddos served in a variety of roles to help bring this film to life. I play Scarecrow, mm. and we also helped editing um, the movements. I was the producer, and my favorite part was telling everybody what to do, and I made the decision. I did some of the backgrounds, and I also did, like, voice acting for one scene. My favorite part about playing the Scarecrow was that I have a brain, I have a big brain, but he, he didn't have a brain, but he did have a big heart, and I like that part. He was really, really nice. District Superintendent Dr. Cherie Labatt also lends her voice talents to the project. Cynic STEM education opportunities. Labatt says the project helps students develop several skills, such as their writing and computer skills. After the big premiere, some students say making animated films is something they could see themselves doing in the future. I saw their leadership skills, and I really saw that, you know, if you, you have high expectations and um, you put a goal in front of them, that they can accomplish anything. I would like to excel in seeing it as something I can do in the future if I don't get the career I want. Now get this, 300 tickets were sold for the opening night and both shows were sold out. If you missed the movie tonight, no need to worry. There will be two more showings next Wednesday at the Malco Theater at 5 and 7 p.m. The district is also considering offering the movie for a third week.